I'm back! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kegs, and this time two years ago I sat in this exact seat and I looked about 10 years older. My hairline was back to here, I was wearing like a stick-on wig and the guys took it off and they gave me one of the best hair transplants ever. <laughs> Back now, two years later, at Now Hair Time Studios, and I'm here to make some content and to show off my results. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to answer all of you guys' questions that you've been asking me for the past few years, and just answer anything you may need to know if you're considering getting a hair transplant. So, first one, why did I choose Now Hair Time? So I picked Now Hair Time because there was lots of different hair transplant companies. Oh. There was lots of different hair transplant companies that I was considering working with, but I chose Now Hair Time because I had a few friends who'd went to them in the past and they recommended them and they said how professionally were, how insane the results had turned out. And then I seen other influencers and seen their results and I was like, these guys look like the best in the game. So after speaking with them and having a few conversations, I really realized that these guys sound like top notch. So I was like, right, I feel like I trust you guys. I'm going to go for it. When is the best time to get it done? So I got mine done in February, which meant I had my hair fully back by like July, August time. So if you want a hair for the summer, I would suggest getting it done maybe around like January, February time. However, you can get it done at any time in the year. Like literally, I know people get it done in the summer. I know people get it done at Christmas. I know people get it done Halloween time. It really just depends when suits you and when you have sort of like four months-ish time that you don't really care about having hair or not. How much does the hair transplant cost? So it really just depends on how many grafts you want to get, what package you want to go for. And yeah, just the conversation you have with my hair time. From what I've seen, the prices range in between £3,000 to like £4,000, £5,000. Really, again, just depends on the person, it depends what you're going for. I actually have a discount code with my hair time, so if you want to message me on Instagram, I'll be able to put you in touch with the link that I have that gets you 5% discount, which can save you hundreds and hundreds of pounds off your final procedure. And since I've had mine done two years ago, I've had thousands and thousands of people message me going through with this link, and I've had about 200 of you, like 200 people who follow me on here, have actually went forward and went and got the hair transplant using the code, and I have yet to hear one bad word about this company. Like, they're just the best, the best. So what does the cost include? So the cost includes your, their flight is not included. That's the only thing that's not really included. So your cost includes, depending on your package, you can get your hotel. So it's a five-star hotel. It's a, such a nice hotel. You get your transfer from the airport. So you get lifted at the airport by this guy in a suit. He lifts you out in this big pimped out van. You drive to the hospital. You get your bloods done. Then you drive to the hotel. You stay in this five-star hotel. It's got an amazing pool, amazing spa. It's got a cool gym. Like the hotel's just class and it's sort of a few eclipses for you. Um, and then you get your transfers like to the procedure. So with my package that I got, I got the Tour of Istanbul. So they give you a Tour of Istanbul for the day. And you also get your vitamins, you get your shampoos and conditioners and things like that there. And I also use different things now a few years later, but I'll explain that in one of the further questions. And what else does it include? And obviously your hair transplants as well. Like that's obviously included as well in the price. But whenever you go through my link and you speak to the advisor, they'll show you the list of the packages and they'll show you the prices which match up to whatever package you will get. What procedure did you get? So I got a combination of FUE and DHI. So I got a, I got a combination of both. Um, and obviously, if you don't know what a hair transplant is, they basically take the hair from the back of your head and they inject it into the front of your head. How many grafts did you get? So I got quite a few grafts. I got more than a lot majority of people would get because I had such a bad hairline. Like as you have seen in clips, my hairline was just shocking. So I got 4,500 grafts and that is a lot, but I do have a massive head and I do have a lot of donor area to give. So how old were you? So I was 24 when I got it. I'm 26 now. And 24 probably is around the youngest maybe age you can get. Obviously everyone's different. You'd have to speak to your advisor and see if you're eligible to get it if you're younger but 24 was a perfect age for me to get it, to be honest. Like, I really suffered with a bad hairline probably my whole life, and my hair started falling out whenever I was, like, 18, 19, so I just, I honestly had the worst hairline ever, so I was ready to get it at 24, believe me. Are you on medication? So that's a good question. So whenever I got it done, I got vitamins, and I got my shampoos and stuff like that there, and I did try finasteride. I didn't think it really agreed with me personally. I know people who get the hair transplant say you have to go on finasteride, have to go on minoxidil, and I didn't for ages, um, but obviously after seeing loads of people go to audit stuff, I got a bit worried. I was like, shit, should I start doing this or whatever? So I done a bit of research and I have started using a company called Dense Hair. 
and they basically offer topical finasteride and minoxidil, so spray on. I'll actually show you it in a wee video in a sec. I don't have it with me right now. So after doing a bit of research and seeing one of my good friends get really good results from using the dance products, I decided to give it a go. So this is their treatment spray. So it's topical finasteride and minoxidil, and I spray it on my crown and my hairline. Basically just the areas of your hair that's mostly affected by hair loss. And I would try and do this every single night before going to bed. And all of this activates dormant hair follicles, it densifies and thickens your hair, and it also helps with hair loss. So yes, these products are incredible for people who have had the hair transplant and want to keep their hair looking amazing. They are also good for anyone who hasn't had a hair transplant who may be suffering a little bit of hair loss, a little bit of hair thinning based off of the results that I've seen on their website and their Instagram. It works for everyone. I also use many of their other products like their shampoo and conditioner. I would use that every couple of days. I would take their vitamins every morning and I would also use their scalp activator maybe like once or twice a week. The guys at Dance have also given me a link. So if you click the link, check their website, check their Instagram, you'll be able to see results and you may as well give it a go. How long does it take? So the procedure itself takes about six hours roughly. You're lying there. They obviously inject you with anesthetic. And yes, people have asked, is it painful? The anesthetic bit is quite sore at the start. Don't get me wrong. It's a couple of minutes where you're going to go through a bit of pain. But after you get the anesthetic, you genuinely don't feel anything after that. Like your head is completely numb. You're lying there. I was just like sitting, scrolling TikTok and watching Netflix for the full six hours. Like I was just chilling. Like it feels like kind of like a massage in your head. Like you can feel them going into your head, but it's not painful. Like you don't feel any pain or any like nerves or nothing. Um, but then after the healing and stuff, so you're going to have to have about 10 days afterwards where you need to look after yourself and you can't really, you need to just protect your head and then you have to do like the scalp, the scalp sort of peel thing. You have to like wipe it and that can be a tiny bit irritating. And then up until 30 days, you have to follow the strict rules. You're not really allowed to sweat. You're not allowed to do like crazy activities or things like that there. And I can't actually remember the full list of rules that you're not allowed to do. But I will try and remember for you. I think it's like alcohol and stuff like that there too, because obviously bleeding and that. And then actual results. So I started seeing results around month four. So the first three months, don't get me wrong, your hair is going to fall out. See the transplanted hair, it will fall out, and it's the ugly duckling phase. And I was so concerned. I was so worried. Like my hair was looked awful. I was like, oh my god, it failed. It didn't work. I was like, oh my god, it's a nightmare. It's going to be like this forever. But after speaking to the girls in my hair time, like I was contacting them back and forth, they reassured me that this is meant to happen, and it is meant to happen and then just be patient. Be patient, patience is key. You, about month four, month five, you start to see results and you're like, yes, it has worked finally. So then I got a haircut around like month five and a half. And then even since then, it takes up until 18 months to see the final results. And after even five and a half months, I kept seeing it getting thicker and thicker. And even looking at it now, it just looks incredible. Like I'm so happy with it. Again, how painful is the process? The anesthetic bit is painful. And then the aftermath for like a couple of days, like my head swelled up like a freaking balloon. It was massive and the aftermath like a few days afterwards it is uncomfortable to sleep like you are going to feel a lot of irritation and itchiness and things like that there but it doesn't it doesn't take long like it's a few couple of days and then you're over it do you know what i mean like it's fine it's very manageable i actually didn't think i was that itchy i was actually grand i was just chilling chilling in my gap my mum treated me like a king whilst i got home healing <laughs> how long does the swelling last i can't actually remember i do know my head did swell up like a balloon it was massive and uh, it was quite funny to be fair it made some funny content and I think it was only a couple of days and then it dies down and then you're fine again. It was so funny as well. I was like, mommy and daddy, like, is my head not massive? And they were like, no, it's fine, it's fine. And see when the swelling went down, they were like, no, it was massive. Like we were concerned at how big it was. I was like, thanks for telling me. And they're like, we didn't want to worry yet, but it's fine. It's all good. Can you exercise afterwards? So I think the recommendation is you're not allowed to exercise for like 30 days, roughly afterwards. Like you're not really allowed to really sweat. Um, I know... I definitely didn't. I went for a hike maybe towards like day like 25 and I was really concerned that it wasn't going to work, but it was fine. It was grand. Just sort of be careful. Don't really try not to sweat as much as you can. Someone said, are you knocked out? Can you feel them doing it? So you can feel them doing it. Yes, you're not knocked out. No, I don't think you're allowed to be knocked out, but they give you an anesthetic, like I said. And after the anesthetic, you can kind of feel them doing it, but you don't feel any pain, if that makes sense. It's kind of like, you feel like a drill going in the back of your head. It's kind of like a massage. It's a weird feeling, but it's kind of nice. I kind of enjoyed it kind of relaxing. Did you do PRP? So yes, I've done PRP a few times. I'm actually going to done it again tomorrow. And PRP is basically where they take the plasma from your blood and inject it in your head. I've actually had it done on my face, but it basically just stimulates cell growth and like um, makes your hair grow faster and makes your hair grow more in that area and stuff because it just rejuvenates the skin and stuff. I'm not really sure the exact scientific terms of it, but I've had it done maybe three times now in my head. Can you wear a hat after? So you can't wear a hat until about day 10. After day 10, you can wear a hat but it's recommended to not wear it as much as you can because obviously you want to get air at it to grow properly back and stuff like that. Like I remember I was wearing a hat in all my pictures and videos when I was in Bali 
and now hair time messaged me and they were like if you keep wearing a hat all the time it could affect the growth of the hair it could damage your hair transplant but I let them know I was like no I only wear it whenever I'm in like pictures and videos and whenever I'm like nights out and stuff I wear a wee bucket hat but other than that I try to wear a hat off my head as much as possible because you don't want to damage it you know what I mean can I dye my hair so I did ask them can I dye my hair and I did dye my hair I'll show pictures over here I dyed it pink it was crazy it was Sydney World Pride I dyed it pink and I dyed it blonde and I dyed it silver and I asked them I asked a few different hair transplant places can you dye your hair and they were like after like I think it said after a year I think you can like after like your results and after it's all healed you can dye your hair yeah um, but I was a bit afraid to keep dying it. Like, I loved the blonde hair, but I was just afraid to keep bleaching it in case it did damage it, because you know how bad them chemicals can be. So I did dye it for a while because I wanted to change my hair. So I've never had a hairline in my life that I can play about with my hair. I eventually had it, and I was like, I want to change things up a bit. Um, and I did dye my hair, and I loved it so much, but I didn't want to keep doing it in case it did damage it. So I went back to brown a couple of months ago, but back to my natural color, and it just feels so healthy and so thick and so nice. I love it so much. <laughs> Can you see any marks in the donor area? I'll show you his videos on my donor area, but I have no noticeable marks at all. Like, if you, if I had a shaved head and you looked really, really, really closely, you might be able to see some, like, wee small marks, but, like, it's very not noticeable to, like, normal human eye when you're walking past you in the street. Do you know what I mean? Like, nobody can really notice mine, to be honest, which I'm very grateful for. How has this affected you? So, honestly, it's changed my life. Like, I'm not even just saying that because I've had good results. Like, it's genuinely changed my life. Like, I always was insecure about my hair, like always my whole entire life since I was like, I remember getting like picked on when I was like 11 or 12 for having a massive head. And ever since then, it just made me so insecure about my hairline. And I done everything I could for years. Like I spray painted my forehead, I wore a wig, like I done so much things throughout the years to try and cover my hairline. And yes, I was posting about it on social media, like showing how to hide my receipt in the hairline. And I was like, I don't really care. But like, I also did kind of was insecure about it. Like I couldn't really go in the sea. I couldn't do like, crazy sports because I didn't want my hairline to blow up or like I couldn't do skydiving like without hiding my hairline like there's just so many things that I was stopping myself from doing because I had a shitty hairline and now I've got one my confidence like has went from here to here like obviously through that ugly duckling phase where my hair was gone I had no confidence my like I had literally like because I had such an attachment to how my exterior looked as to how confident I was then I just lost all my confidence. Like I lost my hair. I was like, oh my God, I have no confidence. I felt like shit. So I'd done a lot of work on myself. I'd done a lot of like therapy and like meditation and breath work and all that there sort of stuff. And I'd done the work to get my confidence back. And I ended up getting confidence within myself without the hair, without the exterior. I was like, I've actually gained confidence without worrying about the exterior that much. That then when my hair came back, my confidence skyrocketed. It went from here to here. And it made me realize how much having not that much confidence actually held me back in life. And yes, I am human. Yes, I still have insecurities. Like, I wouldn't mind a skinnier belly and bigger arms and not have much of a double chin sometimes. But I'm a work in progress. I am working on myself to, to become a better version of myself. But they have eradicated the biggest insecurity that I've had my whole life, which was my hairline. And that has just leveled me up in confidence. And I'm so, so happy for it. Like, it's, it's genuinely changed my life. Like, I'm so grateful. Someone said, is it worth it? It is genuinely so worth it. Like one of the best things that I've ever done. If you're considering it, if you're worried about it, if you want to go get it done, get it done. Someone said like, how does the flight home? How did you cope sleeping the first few nights? And how did you cope for the first few months when it started to fall out? So the flight home, I can't really remember, but it's so funny when you come to Istanbul, you're flying home and everyone in the airport has their noses done, has their boobs done, has their hair done. Like everyone's just all bandaged up, so it's the norm. Uh, I flew home via London and then flew home to back to Belfast and it was grand. Obviously my mum lifted me at the airport and it was fine. Like you're, they proper looked after you and they don't tell you what to do. Like obviously you're a bit like awkward walking around the airport, but as soon as you're home, it's fine. Like um, first few nights, definitely uncomfortable sleeping. And then I told you about how I felt whenever my hair started falling out the first few months. I was very worried, felt shit in myself, but after a while it just, it all falls into place. You have to just be patient. Someone said, what if it doesn't work out? So I haven't personally had anyone that's gone through me that have messaged me and said that it failed or it didn't work or that this wasn't a good service. Like I've not had one person message me saying that. Um, I have seen some botched jobs, like some people have had some botched hair transplants and I'm like, they've been messaging me asking questions about no hair time and then they send me photos of the hair transplant and I was like, oh my god, like what the hell happened? And I was like, did you go to no hair time? And they're like, no, I found this cheaper option, I went somewhere else because it was cheaper and I was like, no, you do not risk going to a cheaper place with a hair transplant, like it can mess up so badly and I have seen some horror 
horror stories like it honestly looks so bad so if you are going to get one make sure to put a wee bit of more money and like now her name is not even that expensive compared to some crazy ones and i'd say these guys are the best in the game like after all the results that i've seen after speaking to anyone who's went after me and after seeing the service that they provide here like it, they're the best in the game and that's why they're doing so well for themselves so do not risk it do not go to a cheaper place because you are risking how bad it could turn out you know what i mean obviously there are places that are good as good as this place but if you go through me you'll get some discount and you'll be treated like an absolute king or queen i think that is all of the questions if you have any more questions at all pop them in the comments or drop me a message on instagram and i'll reply and i'll get back to you as quick as i possibly can and yes if you or anyone that you know wants to get a hair transplant don't forget that i have a discount code that'll save you hundreds and hundreds of pounds off your hair transplant with no hair time and yeah all the best i hope you go for it i hope you change your life like i have by getting one and yeah lots of love thank you for watching and make sure to follow make sure to subscribe and i'll bring you along on my journey across this beautiful planet that we live on much love and i'll see you soon bye